And also, by the way, on that show, Brock Lesnar destroys Zach Gowan. Oh, uh, do you remember that? Oh, yes. uh, I mean, my goodness. That's still, people still talk about that. It, you know what? It, it was a really serious ass kicking. Yeah. I, I honestly believe that it, it went a lot further than just having Brock beat him up. I think that it was sending a message to Zach. Yeah. And uh, that message was heard loud and clear. Yeah. If he wasn't a heel already from what happened in the cage, oh, that him heat. Yeah. holy shit. Uh, yes, so this, this helped dramatically him doing this to Zach. Cause I mean, this kid was a really good wrestler. He only yeah. had one leg. He had a lot of with the fans. Yeah. And uh, when Brock did that to him, that definitely gave him heat. Some of the uh, other matches on this show featured a uh, lot resistance retaining their tag titles over the Dudley boys did you ever work or have any experience with La Resistance? No, but I mean they had a pretty good run. Yeah. They beat the Dullies, they, you know, for the world championship. So yeah, the yeah. Dullies is the greatest tag team of all time. Uh, so they they did pretty well. I just never they were really young, and I, I never got a chance to be in the ring with them. But I thought they were pretty talented. Then uh, the Undertaker he defeats A Train, and it features the return of one of my favorites, Stephanie McMahon, <laughs> confronting Sable. What did you think of seeing Stephanie uh, get involved here, Kurt, with Undertaker and uh, Sable in this story? Uh, you know what? Anytime Stephanie comes back, it's really good. Oh, it's she's so good. But it, it was kind of weird having Undertaker in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the dead man with these two beautiful women. <laughs> right. Right. You no, know, I never saw that before. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely a, a new dynamic. And then you got Shane McMahon and Eric Bischoff facing off in a match that features uh, Steve Austin hitting the stunner on Bischoff and Jonathan Coachman. And that would end when Shane hits a leap of faith on the Bischoff through an announce table. That guy, Shane McMahon, something else. These two yes. are pulling out all the stops, buddy. Are you guys just sitting backstage going, what are we going to be able to do with, with all this <laughs> happening? You know what? I always say this. Let those guys do the extreme stuff. Uh, you know the gimmicks. I, I'm a wrestler, and I'm gonna I'm gonna entertain the fans by just wrestling. And uh, as long as, like, if they if they would have done the same type of match as me, I would have been nervous. But knowing this was a gimmick match, and they were gonna do a lot of stunts, I was okay because I knew that Brock and I would have an incredible amateur pro wrestling match with a lot of technique. 